Hi everybody, this is Joanna with Abstract Art Journal and today I'm going to go over some tools and textures for beginners that you can use. So once you get started with your paint, paper, and brush uh, you might want to add a few items. Now these are all pretty inexpensive and they're really fun. So uh, I went ahead and found out I was using a flat brush a lot so I got a little bigger flat brush I, I love these little sponge brushes which are really inexpensive and I wanted to try out the plastic painting knives. These are great for making texture in your paint and even putting on paint. The other thing that's fun to put on paint with are these gift cards or I call them scrapers or gift cards. You can put paint on with those. You can put paint on with any kind of household sponge. Um, and then this little sponge roller I got at the dollar store which is fun to put on paint or make designs in your paint. So that's kind of fun. The other thing that you may have at home is some bubble wrap which makes great texture in your paint. Uh, the other thing is cardboard. Uh, any cardboard box you have at home you can pull it off uh, one of the sides and you get this nice surface for texture. Another thing is that if you're using craft paint, which has a lot of water, you can put a little bit in a container and add water and get a little spray paint. And then you can use like rubber bands, paper clips, or string to put on your painting surface and spray paint and you get a nice design. So that's another good idea. Uh, the other idea thing that you have at home is to make circles. So you can make circles with straws, dip the straw in the paint and do it on your paint surface. Uh, different bottle caps you might have at home make great circles. Um, paper towel rolls make great circles. And then the plastic cups make great circles, either from the bottom or you can set it in paint and you make good circles like that. So that's fun. And the other thing I found are these clay tools that are for clay, but they make great designs in your paint. And those are all inexpensive. So these are just all little fun tips and tricks for you to try once you get started and how to make textures in your uh, paintings. Okay, thanks and have a great art day.